How you doing guys? My name's Phoenix Rex. I'm here to help you with port forwarding on a Satancom Fast 53660TN modem. Um, I struggled to find information on the net, on the internet for it. I may have been looking in the wrong place, but I never together I've fluffed together things from other models of the Satancoms and managed to sort out port forwarding. So I thought I'd make a video for everyone to make it a little bit easier. So the first thing I did was download Port Forward Network Utilities. It's free and I'm only here to use the port checker. The IP config, static IP, they're all paid options, uh, but we only need the port checker. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into our modem. Okay, so once you've done that, gotta love Optus modem, so just great. We go to network settings, port forwarding, and scroll down. Now, as you can see, I've already added a few. Um, it, to me, it was a little daunting at first because I wasn't quite sure what to put in it. But I did, like I said, I fluffed together a few things with other ones, gave it a try, and came up with a solution. This may not work for you. It may work for you. But it worked for my... Sagecom Fast 53660TN modem. Um, hopefully it will helps you as well. So the first thing I did is I went to run con command prompt and put in IP config to get my IP4 address. We're going to need that. Okay, custom service name can be anything, whatever you want to call it. Let's just call it port 3 because I already have a port 1 and 2. I don't really need a port 1 or 2. You can't use the already used name. Okay, choose services other. I mean, there are other, are other services there, but I just go with other. TCP, UDP, take your pick. Whatever protocol you need, I use both for the simple fact a lot of my ports need both. Um, and those that need one or the other, it doesn't matter if you go to TCP, UDP, because it'll pick one. Asterisk in external host, this means any external host. So anyone that's coming in and then internal host is going to be the IP that we did. So your IP4 address. External port and internal port need to be exactly the same. You can do ranges. Make sure that if you do do ranges, they're exactly the same top and bottom. Uh, for example, Let's do a range. Okay, we'll do 27036 until 27037. Not a big range, but it's a range. Okay, you need the same thing in the bottom one. Exactly the same. Hit add, successfully saved. It's that easy. Now, to test to make sure it works, port checker. All right, now the thing with this is, is it's just to check your port. It sends and receives packets, nothing more. After doing this, I'd suggest getting your friend to test it, make sure. Okay, so we put in our port 27036, pick one, it doesn't matter, it can be either one or 037, and hit check me. Same with the protocol. It has to be the protocol you're using, but because I'm using both, it doesn't matter which one I check. And it says that it's open. So therefore, someone can come and jump on my server that's running on that port, as long as the server's running on that port. And it really is that easy and that simple. You can add as many as you like. Just put in the details. Make sure there's a name, other. Pick your protocol, depending on whether you, which one you need. External post is an asterisk or empty. If you don't want to put an asterisk in, it'll automatically put one in. Your IP4 address for internal host, your external port and internal port being exactly the same. I hope this has been helpful. Hope you guys have a good day and don't forget to check out my other videos. I'll see you next time.